Hi, my name is Tammy. I am the sole person in season change counseling. And I thought I would just uh, jump on here real quick between patients and talk about a project that I am trying to do. If any of you looked at my Facebook page today, you'll see that I posted a link um, about a girl who said, I went to a counselor today and she's very raw and um, very forthcoming with her seeing a counselor. And I was, I've was i been thinking about this for such a long time, like, man, I would just really love it if I could just grab some people and then just have these people be brave and raw on my Facebook page and say, listen, this is what I'm struggling with. This is what I'm going through and this is what's helped me or, or just be vulnerable and say, hey, I'm still struggling with this and this and this. You guys, when people come in, I hear all the time how people feel alone and that they feel like they're the only ones going through something. And I'm like, I wanna just like, oh, I'm so sad for you because everybody's going through something. Everybody is going through something. Everybody's struggling with something. Everybody's having some challenging thoughts in their head. Everybody has like some racing thoughts once in a while or thoughts of worthlessness or like, gosh, what did I do to get myself in this situation and just feel like it's an impossible situation to get yourself out of. You guys, everybody feels that way once or once in a while. And sometimes you're able to get yourself out of it, right? Sometimes you're just like, you get a good night's sleep and you're like, you know what? Things aren't so bad. And that's great. I think that's how God created our brain to be. It's like at night we just process things and we wake up and we're like, you know what? I got this. I can do this. But sometimes it doesn't work out that way, does it? I know I have been in several situations where it's like, gosh, what is the answer to this? And I can't stop thinking about the problem. And, and I just feel alone and isolated, you know? I'm sure you guys have all felt that way because I hear it on the receiving end of that being in therapy. So I just wanted to challenge you guys. And some of you got some private Facebook messages from me um, just asking you if you would be willing to be vulnerable I have a hard time saying that word, vulnerable with me and talk about maybe some of your own struggles. And if you haven't struggled, that is amazing. I'm so proud of you and I'm a little jealous to be honest. But um, if you don't have any struggles, that's awesome. That's amazing. Maybe you have some thoughts on getting help. Maybe you have some thoughts on being vulnerable. Maybe you have some thoughts on like, I maybe struggled at one time and maybe this is what I felt like. But honestly, I feel like most of us have struggled at one time or another, whether it be with an aging parent struggling with that. Uh, maybe it be a death in the family struggling with that. Maybe it be like your kiddo is going through a tough time and you just can't fix it for them, right? As a parent, that's just such a heartbreaker. Maybe, you know, your spouse has made a choice about something and you just you, you have no control over that and it's just really bothering you or maybe in your life you've seen actual tragedy and trauma and you just can't get over it and then occasionally when you're spacing off you know the intrusive thought comes in and you're like wow that was really crappy when that happened you know what you guys you're not alone so what i ask some of you to do is to pop in a message on my facebook page and just talk about your experience. Now we're all, we all experience things differently. Even if we all witness the same exact thing, we're all gonna have different perspective on what we pulled from that situation. So your perspective is gonna be different than mine, even if we saw the same thing, or even though we experienced the same thing. So I'm looking for people's perspectives. I'm looking for you to be vulnerable. I'm looking for you to be courageous. And I'm, I'm looking for people to stand out and say, you know what, I struggled with this, and this is what helped. Um, you don't have to necessarily come and see me. Um, it'd be great if you did. Let's be honest, it'd be great if you did. But you don't have to. I, I want people who have been through other therapists and other counselors or other like ministers or priests or pastors and found, found health and serenity and guidance through them. I mean, your best friend, you know, your best friend's your best friend. My best friend's my husband and I go to him for a lot of my stuff. And you know what? He helps. But not all of us is in that situation where we can do that. And let's be honest, not always do I want to go to my husband when I'm having an issue, right? Especially when it's an internal issue that I'm struggling with. So it's good to reach out and to talk to people. And I have been fortunate enough, God has given me this position in this job to be able to see people's vulnerabilities and to just meet them and greet them where they're at and just like, hey, I'm going to jump in this with you and let's figure it out. That's what I do, right? So, um... I'm just asking for people's perspectives. I'm asking for people to say, you know what? I took my daughter to therapy and counseling and this is how I felt like it went. 
um, you can say, you know what, I, I, my mom is, is, is getting dementia and she's getting older and I am getting into a caretaker role and it's really strug I'm really struggling with that. And this is, this is what I'm struggling with, but this is where I found some help, some help and some solace. Um, or it could be your own mental health, like, man, you know what, um, it was really tragic when that happened and, and I struggled with that and I don't know what got me through it, but now looking back on it, blah, blah, blah. I mean, I'm just looking for people to be real because if you look in the news, you're going to see lots of things on mental health, mental illness and getting help, right? And it's like, oh, that's not going to happen here. That's not going to, um, you know, that kind of problem doesn't exist here. Let me tell you guys, I'm in Newton, Iowa and I've seen it all and I've been a therapist for several years. And I, I get to the point where I'm like, you know what? I am never going to be shocked again because I think I hear it all. You know what? That is 100% not true. I'm always hearing new stories. I'm always hearing new heartaches, new pains, new traumas. Oh, you guys, people are struggling out there. And I don't think I don't think the general public really knows what is going on out in there in the world. And the thing that I see on a regular basis is people come in and they're suffering and they feel alone. Gosh, that just sucks, doesn't it? I hate, I, I'd hate to feel alone when I'm going through a terrible time. Um, I remember when I lost my dad, of course, this was in 2011. And um, at the same time, I was going through a divorce. You know, I'm going to be real with you right now. That was really hard for me. And I didn't know how to process that. Even as a therapist, I didn't know how to process that. So, you know, we all don't have the answers. I don't always have the answers. But what I do tell people is that let's work on this together. Being together and um, being vulnerable together and meeting the person where they're at is very helpful. So I'm challenging you guys to reach out to people. I'm challenging you to um, ask people how they are and don't just take, oh yeah, I'm good for an answer. We're all struggling, right? If you see somebody struggling, help them out. You know, if you if you see somebody crying, hey, spend spend some time with them, hug on them, love on them, let them know that God loves them and just that, you know, you're there for them. So. I'm not asking you to say like, oh, I went to go see Tammy at Season Change Counseling and this is how good. I'm not asking for that. I'm asking for everybody to be real. Man, if you've come to my office and it's been a crappy experience for you, tell me about it. Tell everybody about it. That's okay. We all have different experiences. If you had a counselor like 45 years ago that did this weird thing, that's okay. Let's talk about that. Let's just talk about things and stop this stupid stigma that we can't talk about our weaknesses and we can't talk about being vulnerable. That just sucks, you guys. So anyway, I'm starting this project. I'm going to pop in here every once in a while and just put in a little plug and be vulnerable as you as I go along and, and just have some um, courage as I step forward in this because I know if I'm going to say something, it's going to hit somebody. It's going to hit them the right way and they're going to feel like, wow, I didn't realize that person felt the same as I do. So that's the that's the mission I'm on right now. That's the vision I'm on right now. That's the project I'm on right now. Let's help each other not feel lonely. Let's help each other not feel alone. And let's just be real with each other, okay? So get out there, be real with somebody, be vulnerable, hug on somebody, love on somebody. And um, if you've had some experience with counseling, therapy, mental health, mental health hospitalization, medications, if you, you've had help at, you know with people that you love on a church, let's talk about it, you guys. Let's just talk about what you found to be helpful or what you found to be a struggle, and let's just get real and connect with each other. If nobody's told you today, I care for you, I adore you, and um, I am really looking forward to hearing from you guys as um, we all share in the struggles that we have in life. Have a great day. Go Cards. It's a uh, homecoming week here in Newton, Iowa, where I have practice at. Um, so if you feel like you want to um, hit me up and come in and see me for counseling, I am here. I'm the only person here. When you walk through that door, I'm the only person you're going to see unless there's another person here in front of you or after you. Um, anyway, so call my office at 641-787-0026 to uh, make an appointment. Um, you can also get on my Facebook Messenger and message me. You can also find um, my website, which is www.seasonschangecounseling.com and I'll learn more about me there. I'm also on the Psychology Today website. So um, just reach out if you're, if you're struggling. Um, reach out to a friend if you're struggling. Um, if you're having a great day, you know, encourage somebody. That's all I'm asking you to do. So let's, uh, let's encourage each other as we move along. And I hope to see you guys soon. Take care.